She got that pretty far down there off the tee. She did. Boy, this looks good. Just right of it should feed to the left. Yeah, that should feed towards the hole very nicely. How about this from Brooke Henderson? And she's got that for an eagle. We've had five eagles here so far this week. And it drops. And Brooke Henderson is on a charge here on a Sunday on the Jersey Shore, out in 32. And Trip Eisenhower watching now our co-leader, Brooke Henderson. She is driving the ball beautifully. Oh, she leaves in strokes gain, picking up the tee quickly. <laughs> and this is not a typical hole where you would find Brooke hitting a driver because of her length, but with the softer fairway. And this is just a green light situation. Ball will blow her feet, hole cut on the right, 97 yards. Not just a sandwich. Needs to spin right. We talk a lot about her putting, but she's such a great ball striker that she doesn't have to putt. Yeah, same thing there. She expected it to break right, and it just doesn't. What a weekend this could be for golf in Canada. On the tee at the 11th with Brooke Henderson. That's five iron in hand. 184 all the way back to the hole. Yeah, that, she says go. It's going to need to. Oh, it sat right down. It pitched into that little uh, false front there. <laughs> well, that, that may be for the KPMG insights for her to measure exactly the distance of the putts because they're required to write them down. Very good point, Morgan. That's what it was, but I still got a giggle out of it. <laughs> Second shot here for Brooke. 83 yards. Really good look at it. Wind starting to pick up back into her face. Oh, yeah. It's delightful. It's a very narrow green, this, and it can cause. Brooke Henderson back for more at the 12th. Yeah. Is all over it today. Here she is at the tee at 13. Well, that's another beautiful tee shot. Driven the ball great this week. Yeah, 13 can be a tricky hole, the flag. Let's go to the 13th, and Brooke Henderson, the leader, her second. Just 133 uphill, the wind helping. That's an nine iron on the way. Tiny little tabletop up here in the left. Boy, this looks good. Oh, it is good. Another really solid iron shot from Henderson, and another great look at birdie. Brooke Henderson for another birdie here at the 13th. I can't ask for a better look. Just inside left edge and firm. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness me. Is that not going to fall? Just too far away. If she loses out by one shot or ends up in a playoff late today. Let's go to 14. And a second for Henderson trip. 156, six iron in hand. Back into the wind, puffing up just a little bit. Different win than we've seen so far this week. This 14 playing is the second hardest hole on the course today. Just one of the longer, challenging par fours. That's a beauty. Top tracer technology here with the shot oh. for Brooke. Oh boy. It never left the flag. Oh, come on, yeah. come on, come on, come on, come on, ball. Come on. And another birdie chance for Brooke Henderson. I've seen her do it pretty much inside it. 10 feet all week. And she's been right, very, go. very good. All right. go down. Right, go down. Nobody better right now. Brooke Henderson leads the way. No question. It's an awkward tee shot. Well, she's not seeing many things awkward this week. That might have to get down. That's yeah, soft enough. It's fine. And the second for Henderson trip. 120 yards. That's a wedge. Go. It's got to go. She's got a backstop behind it. I'm surprised she's short. Just released enough to catch the edge of the green. And on the subject of Henderson, a little cleanup here for par at 16. She's not taking it lightly. It just does make me a little nervous seeing the flag stick in. Brooke Henderson from Canada here with the par putt. Important not to hit this too soft. Have to be aggressive. And if there's one thing she's done when she misses, it's a little too tentative. Yeah, she got it this time. Really solid. I think that was a big pot right there, Tom. 
I think it's maybe just taken her a little bit of time to get settled in with one that she's comfortable with, but she's striping it today, this week. Yeah, she might want to keep this one, Morgan. <laughs> this is another beautiful tee shot, shortening this hole down the right side. This is long. She'll be able to get there, I think, no problem from there. What a tee shot. There's nothing quite like having a driver that just you're so comfortable with off the tee. Just a touch heavy, but headed towards the right side. Safely on, pin high, a chance to set the tone, post a significant clubhouse lead. Well, the pace looks good. Beautifully executed by Brooke Henderson. And left to post at 12 under par. Lindsay Weaver right. Coming off the birdie at 17. She'll have an opportunity to match or beat that number. Well, and that's what this one is. No problem at all. Afro continues to really drive it well heading into the heart of this. Well, the good shots continue. That's right at it. Wow, oh, they loved it, and that is exactly why. What a shot by Brooke Henderson. A great team effort. Reminds me a bit of the second shot she hit to win the KPMG Women's PGA in the playoff against Lydia Ko. Hit her second shot to about three feet. Yeah, really and she looked away like she didn't like it. It's kind of... A broke oh. you know, like And it's Brooke Henderson. The winner of the ShopRite LPGA Classic for her 11th tour title at the age of 24. She is now up there with Lexi Thompson in total victories. G.I. Shin. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't go anywhere in just a few Susie moments. Susie Maxwell Burry. We'll have the trophy presentation to the winner of the 2022 so ShopRite LPGA Classic presented by Acer. What a marvelous round of golf today. And she never, ever went backwards, Morgan. And, and not only did she shoot 64, but then she eagled the playoff hole. I mean, what a performance today from Brooke Henderson. Birdied it in regulation, eagled it in the playoff. It was a valiant effort.